So hi folks, I'm Roger from Off Grid Van Life, and in this episode I'll be uh, taking these 105 amp hour uh, cells from Eve. We've actually had them for a few months, and I will be top balancing them. Uh, the idea is I want to do two things. I want to do a capacity test and make sure that they actually reach the stated capacity. I have no doubt that they will. We've never had a letdown from the supplier. Every single cell that we have tested from the supplier has exceeded or met the uh, stated capacity. And the second I want to do is to actually see how we would build this into a really, really good, uh, high quality, highly reliable battery. So let's get on with it. So let's get unpacking. Um, get the packaging out, uh, the strap for the lid, the lid itself. It's quite a heavy, heavy duty thing. Right, in the past it's been quite difficult to get these cells out of here, so let's see if we can get the first box out. Very tight, very tight pack. Probably going to be easier just to turn this gently over to empty them all out slowly. side. This will be the battery case obviously. I'm going to try and build them in. And here are the four cells. So let's get them out one at a time, inspect them for leaks and things like that. Before I start the actual build I'll get my specs out. They're quite nice actually. First one, put the boxes back. Right, just going to get my specs on and uh, have a good look at these cells, make sure they're all okay. Right here, no problems, no dents or anything like that. Definitely 3.2 and 105. <clears throat> just an eyeball check to make sure there's nothing obviously wrong with them structurally. Right, so what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> I'm going to put all of the positives in one end, all the negatives in the other end, and I'm going to join them up in parallel. And I'm not going to bind them at this stage, and the reason for that is that I actually deliberately want to uh, check for things like bulging and that. So I've got six itsy bitsy teeny weeny bus bars and a whole lot of screws. I'm going to need eight of these. Just pour out a whole lot. Okay, take the caps off. <clears throat> so the idea is I'm going to um, connect these all in parallel. So all the positives on one side, all the negatives on the other. I've got six bus bars to achieve that, and eight screws. And um, you need to uh, put these screws in quite carefully. The thre these are M5 uh, holes, so uh, they're fairly fine threads compared to the M6s and the M8s that we normally deal with. Uh, so need to be quite careful, but there's a trick I learned uh, back in the day when I used to upgrade my Mac. Uh, I learned how to put uh, very fine screwed into aluminium bodies without stripping and without cross-threading and that sort of thing. So I'll show you that now in a moment. Just place the bus bars where they're going to go. And remember wear some sort of eye protection just in case something goes wrong. You want to protect your eyes. So the idea, what I found, and this was quite by accident, and I don't know if this is what they actually do, um, what I find is if you turn backwards until you hear it click over to start the thread. So basically, there we are, there's the click. Then you screw it down and that way you will just never cross thread. Uh, well, I've never, since I've been doing this, I've never uh, cross threaded a fine thread. So again, let's start with that one. So we're gonna turn backwards. There we are, felt the click. 
and it turns in really smoothly and you know it's not cross-threading. These are quite fine threads as I mentioned. So I'm not binding this pack because I want to see how much they are going to swell when they are fully, fully charged. Probably the not, si right, not the right size screwdriver for these screws. There we are. That was the little click. That's gone in nicely. There we are. Here we are. There's the pack assembled. Double check the voltage that's coming out. 3.2 Eight. That's what I was expecting. Right. Turn this on and double check the voltage. <coughs> 3.65. I'm going to bring this a bit closer and attach this in the middle there. This one on the other side in the middle. Bring it up to about 20 amps. It's charging at 20 amps. Double check with our clamp meter. Yep, 20 amps, that's correct. And we'll continue to charge these. The voltage should have gone up a little bit by now. Yeah, 3.29, so it's creeping up already. 3.30. Right, we'll see in a few hours. Uh, so I'm guessing these are about 30% state of charge. Right, it took about uh, 14 hours for these to charge up. Let's just uh, double check the voltage. 3.64, 3.65, that's exactly what I want to see. So they'll be nicely top balanced. This is quite accurate, we've tested it against some really good calibrating machines. Right, <coughs> turn this off, unplug it. Right, we are going to uh, prepare to do a capacity test of all of these. Now, <clears throat> I'd wanted to do a bit of a check. Oh, they are completely flat. They haven't bulged out at all. Totally snug against each other. That's very good. No bulging at all in these cells. <clears throat> right, get rid of some of this stuff. Some of the testers are complaining <coughs> they don't have any voltage sensed on here. These are all actually M6 uh, screws, so it's going to use an extra washer. The lugs are M6, that is. <coughs> the screws are M5. Oh, it's very tight.
Right, we are going to set all our testers off. Two different makes of testers, but they will yield the same results. Right, these are all set to draw 10 amps, so um, theory 105 amp hours, uh, just over 10 hours. You'll see um, as they're approaching the end, I might come back and um, and just take off, take them all down to 5 amps, just so we can get the absolute most out of these. Although a 10 amp draw is a fairly small draw, so that should be fine. And they've all dropped immediately down to roughly um, 3.2 volts. So let's see in 10 hours how they fare. So this is the uh, next day. We ran the capacity test uh, for the first sort of 50 amp hours at uh, 10 amps and then uh, cut it down to 5 just to see at a slow burn just how much these cells would give. So here are the results. Uh, this cell is 111 amp hours, so more than the stated capacity, 110 amp hours, also more than the stated capacity, 111 amp hours, and the final one, 107 amp hours. So this one has got fairly thin cables, so that may account for that. Um, but all of these cells have met uh, and exceeded the stated capacity, so I'm quite pleased with that. So thanks for watching this video. Pleased with the results of these cells. So they all met and exceeded the stated capacity. Uh, and that was on the slow burn. At some stage we will assemble the battery and, and do a fairly high burn. Uh, when I say probably at least uh, 40, 50 amps that we'll uh, take off these to see how long they last. Um, next steps, we're going to build this out into a proper battery and uh, looking forward to seeing how that turns out. So thanks for watching folks.